Um, the Ministry of Health is very pleased to be part of this historical campaign of the Mark More Than a Mother initiative that is the first of its kind in Uganda. As earlier mentioned, this has already taken place in Kenya, but in Uganda this is our very first time and we are honored to be part of this. For the first time, we shall have a campaign addressing the stigma of infertility in general and infertile women in particular. As most of us know in our culture, infertility has been tagged mainly to women, but we also know that men are a part of the cause and can be part of this whole issue of infertility. In Uganda, infertility is still a very big challenge, and we have an estimation of around 5 million people suffering from this problem. Um, of all couples attempting to have a pregnancy in any given year, we find that about 10 to 15 percent may fail to get a pregnancy and may require serious medical help. Um, we've also realized that in Uganda, this is mainly handled by the private health facilities, and these are mainly centered in the urban areas, especially in Kampala, to be specific. That means that this leaves the rural population very underserved. And we know that the majority of our people stay in the, in the, uh, in the rural areas. And in a special way, we want to thank Mark and Russia's team for having to bring the Ministry of Health on board in this agenda. And we hope that this Mother and Mother campaign will move us strides to change the cultural shift in relation to infertility in the country. We look closely to working with each and every one of you, and we hope infertility will also be posted up on the agenda of Ministry of Health. Thank you very much. Infertility is a problem that affects many people and they believe that without having children their lot is, is gone. They have no uh, solution and there are um, subsequent problems that follow this. You will see that in many cultures childless women they suffer discrimination, stigma, they are ostracized, they are not part of the society. The sense of lawlessness and um, many of them, as you think, are banned from even attending any meetings. Uh, family meetings, they have no say. Relations of these people, they have the same problem that the sense of belonging is no longer there. We must recognize no superiority in mankind other than goodness. Because if we all aspire to be good, this world will be a good place for all of us. Thank you. We in the African Fertility Society join national partners, the ART providers in Uganda, the Uganda Fertility Society, the Association of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Uganda to welcome Max More Than a Mother African Initiative. We are happy to partner with Mark to embrace and address the sensitive topic of infertility stigmatization for the first time in Uganda. And that is why we are here today, to launch the stigma minimization activity for Uganda and for Africa. I am confident, ladies and gentlemen, Uganda will lead in the speedy elimination of infertility stigma. So let us give a hand of applause to ourselves for the passion and the commitment. Master ceremony distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is now my pleasant duty and privilege to commend to all of you Mark's groups, More Than A Mother program, to you all, and thank you for listening to my speech.
most of the women who are educated tend to prolong having a family because you want to first finish your education after your degree you first want to at least have a job before you get married and research shows that the most fertile age bracket is between 20, 21 to 25 years so as you reach 30 years or after 25 with your first job you're trying to settle down you start looking for a baby at 30 years it becomes a problem therefore this campaign requires public figures to come out and join hands in campaigning in raising awareness and i want to pledge to you mark that as parliamentarians we will join this campaign and passionately advocate for a cultural shift towards infertility issues. I thank you very much. But this is a journey that started on the 24th of April when Russia was trying to tell me about this initiative and tried to talk to me and then we had a discussion with the First Lady as well, Mama Janet Museven. So after this discussion, she kept propping me and telling me, when can we have this campaign? And I told her that I need to sit down with my technical staff, and then we see how we can move on. It was not an easy subject, because it's something that nobody has thought about. And yet we all know that it happens. Infertility is a big problem, but we have not come out to speak publicly about it. So in November last year, when we had the World Diabetes Celebrations, of course, Mark was here to give us that support. They have been having these campaigns in the country. So we were together in Mitiana, and she traveled in my car together with the chief executive officer. And we had another long chat about this matter. So she said, can we do it before the elections? I said, OK, fix the date but let it not be close to 18th. And today I'm happy <laughs> that we are here as Ministry of Health to partner with Mark to promote this initiative, the More Than a Mother campaign in Uganda. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this initiative, as you have all heard, will address the key challenges that are associated with resource-constrained settings in prevention of infertility, education, and self-development. As you heard earlier, is a shared responsibility, and this campaign certainly will contribute to raising awareness about male infertility and encourage men to acknowledge and openly discuss their infertility issues and strive for a team approach to family building, as I indicated earlier with their partners in order to progress towards shared fertility responsibility among couples. As Minister of Health, we want to pledge our support by ensuring that we have an integrated approach to fertility care, in fertility care, have proper referral systems, conduct community awareness programs about causes of infertility, and also how to prevent them. Merck More Than a Mother will not only uh, define the interventions to reduce the stigma and social suffering, but also will provide education for healthcare providers to better manage basic management of infertility. And not only that, also the embryologists, which is, uh, are very limited number in Africa and Uganda, and only one, we are going to provide training for embryologists. So we increase the number of embryologists which is very important to be able to have access to infertility and regulated and effective infertility care in Africa. Russia, you're such a gem. We really don't know how to describe you. But you've brought hope to all African women. <laughs> Let me take this opportunity to congratulate Mark for championing stigmatization of infertile women through Mark More Than a Mother initiative. 
which will enable us challenge the perception associated with infertility by facilitating platforms which will progressively shift deep-seated mindsets within our communities. I also want to thank Mark for appointing me the ambassador 2015-2016 for Mark More Than a Mother campaign in Africa, a position that I have taken with a lot of humility. So let's make sure that we represent our people, make sure that we take this information to them, educate them that there is early prevention, early treatment, early detection. Thank you very much and God bless you. So what is it that uh, we have uh, in the envelope? for mothers that we are bound to identify outside there. Thank you so much. When we are talking about reproductive health, we are really looking at talking more about family planning and contraceptive views and not focusing on health education and fertility issues as a well. whole. So I did indicate that we at the next level are going to ensure, to ensure that now we have an integrated approach to reproductive health issues to cover this subject matter as a whole. So you are all aware that we have health facilities even at the sub-county level where mothers who go to these clinics or these health facilities are told about family planning, they are told about contraceptives, told about HIV AIDS and others. So this is also part of the information that we are going to provide health workers those who offer these services at the facility level should be armed with information so that they can educate the women about fertility issues, infertility, and how it can be prevented. To what has been done to the many herborists who claim to be treating this infertility? I've seen many, like on TV in Uganda, and many people have gone to them. How do we bring them on board? Because maybe some of them, like, they are just giving false information and just getting money out of these people, yet they are not treating them. Thank you. We must really appreciate that uh, uh, these herbalists also provide the service and they actually sometimes are an alternative to uh, the clinical services that we offer. However, I have been saying this, that we need to have them regulated because some are doing it to simply extort money from people who don't know. Bring a cow, bring a goat, bring a million, and at the end of the day, no results. So we already have a bill in Parliament, which we presented in Parliament, the Indigenous and Complementary Medicines Bill, that is aimed at regulating all these people who claim to have a cure for whatever ailment. So for you to be able to publish or advertise yourself, you must have been approved by us. Yeah, I just want to have a breaking news. Uh, I don't know if you heard me when he said that America will provide a embryologist fellowship program for uh, all Africa. And we were starting with an, one embryologist from uh, Uganda and one embryologist from Kenya as stage number one for training. And this is one of the pillars we have talked about that we want to build fertility care capacity. And start from the skills and professional skills because you cannot even open IVF when you don't have people to work with IVF or the fertility clinic. So we will start with having people to be able to work and manage this IVF, which is the, the most technical part of the embryologist. And then we will talk about the rest of the infrastructure and the fertility clinics across the county. This um, token of appreciation for Mark in partnership with the Ministry of Health, to Nantongo Sawia for her bravery in the fight against discrimination against women in fertility. So it's now my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. 
to officially launch the Mark More Than a Mother campaign in Uganda. Congratulations, Mark. Congratulations, Uganda. Congratulations, Africa.